Manny in this as well. So let's start off with Isaac Towers, the reigning European 800 metres champion. In lane H4, Switzerland, Bojan Mitic, silver in the one and the four, bronze in the two in the Europeans in Swansea, bronze in the 100 in Doha. The 100 metres champion from this week and the reigning world champion won four of those titles in Lyon and four in Doha, what he could deal. The Canada in lane six, Austin Smeek, fourth in the 100 metres here. Lane five, the seven-time European champion. He's won the last two 400 crowns at continental level for Finland, Henry Manny. The United Arab Emirates in lane four, the Asia Oceania champion, bronze on the 100 metres here, and the reigning Paralympic 800 champion, Mohamed Al Hamadi. Formerly a bronze medalist in the 200 metres in Christchurch in 2011, seventh in the 100 metres here from the United States, Austin Pruitt, coached by the great Joachim Cruz. And for Great Britain in lane two, bronze in the one, the four and the eight in Grosseto of the Europeans last year, Ben Rowling. So the home support for Rownings and Towers on the inside and the outside. But Wally Cotillo, really the man they have to beat, who's won nine gold medals in the last three World Championships, including this one. El Hamadi in lane four, the reigning Paralympic 800 champion. Rowlings, Pruitt, El Hamadi, Mani, Smeek, Katila, Mitic, Towers. We are underway. Katila underway well in lane seven and flying well. He's already passed Mitic on his outside. Wally Katila in seven. Al Hamadi in four. This is going to be a great joust between the kings of the 400 and the 800. Mani trying to move up as well for Finland. Katila going well in seven. Smeek trying to make a bit of damage for Canada. But Katila and Alamani are the two going better than the rest of the moment. Katila in seven, Alamani in four. Now they'll straighten up in this T34 final. It's a straight shootout between these two. Katila slightly in front on the near side. Alamani in lane four, Mani going well in third. I think Katila's going to get his tenth world title. Wally Katila does it again, Alamani in second place. And Henry Mani in third. Austin Pruitt in fourth for the United States. You can't keep a good champion down. Wally Katila with a championship record, 50.57. He's broken his own championship record from Lyon four years ago. Just the one gold for him in Rio. He was only in two events. Alamadi won the gold there ahead of Katila in the 800. But Katila, the great Tunisian, gets his revenge. Gold in the one, the two, the four, and the eight in Lyon and in Doha. And now he's won the one and the four in London. And in the T34 class, Katila, he's the top dog again. The question was if Alamadi could take down the big Katilda, and the answer was no. It was a great race, they straightened up. Katila with the slight lead, but he just pushed up and pushed up, and Al Hamadi, in the end, could not respond in the final hundred. Indeed, he couldn't, and when you're dealing with a man like Wally Katila, he just keeps on coming and coming and coming, doesn't he? You mentioned he was the great Tunisian. He's the terrific Tunisian. What an athlete he is. T-54s, without doubt, one of the most enjoyable racing spectacles. Yeah, Wally Katila in the T-34. This is a coordination impairment wheelchair event, the strongest racers of the lot. And Katila, well, 10 world golds. Three-time Paralympic champion, another championship record. Katila wins 50.56. Al Hamadi the silver. Four